everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is Mike here, the FPV Evil Monkey, and today, guys, I'm going to show all the new people that may be starting out with Crossfire how to solder up, set up, and install a Crossfire with a Nano RX. And I'm going to be installing this on my uh, newly rebuilt uh, Cinewhoop. Um, originally, I just had a XM Plus on there, so um, I'm going to go ahead and convert it. I'm converting my whole fleet over to Crossfire. So uh, let's go ahead and get into this video. All right, guys, so the uh, first step in uh, getting your receiver ready is you're going to need to um, hook up your wires. So your ground will go on the square, your power will go on the next one, and then you can either use a white or a yellow. It's up to you to see, remember, which pad is which. So I'm going to go ahead and solder this up, and then I will be back. All right, so now that I've got everything uh, soldered up, so again, you're going to do um, going to be ground, power, and then um, transmit and receive. I think that's how it goes. <laughs> and then the receive will actually go to the transmit, and the transmit will go to the receive, so it's just opposite. Um, so you're going to install this on a um, RX. Uh, so I'm using going to be using RX3 and TX3 uh, for mine. So uh, now, once you get this soldered up, uh, you can go ahead and use the a um, little bit of shrink wrap that uh, TBS has included. So make sure that your Immortal T antenna is on there before you put the shrink wrap on, otherwise you're gonna have to redo it. So I'll go ahead and do that. Once you have your receiver soldered up and you got your shrink wrap on, uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to solder it to our flight controller. So for me, um, on my flight controller compared to this, so my um, ground is going to be this one, power is going to be that one, my RX uh, TX3 is going to be that one, and my RX3 is going to be that one. So I'm going to go ahead and solder up uh, those pads real quick. Okay, so once you've got your uh, receiver in place, um, now normally what I would do is I put sticky tape and a zip tie um, to make sure it stays in place, but since this is my squirt and it's not going to be going like a huge long distance away, I just want to make sure I have a good connection, I'm just using sticky tape. Um, so now I'm going to tin uh, the wires and then I will go ahead and uh, solder these up and I'll show you exactly um, where they should be set. Alright guys, so um, when you're hooking these up, your obviously your black is going to be ground, red is going to be power. This is going to be your transmit, which actually goes to your receiver pad, and this one is your receiver pad, which goes to your transmitter pad. So just remember that. So your receiver will go to transmit, and transmit will go to receiver. It's vice versa. So however your... Um, flight controller set up. So it's all soldered up, it's ready to go. So next I'll show you how to uh, bind it to your crossfire. So next part in your setup is once you've gotten your uh, model chosen, go to the page and then all you have to do is go all the way down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this because I was running the FR Sky uh, XM Plus. I'm going to change this now See. We're going to change that to off because it's going to be off for internal and I'm going to turn my external on to crossfire and that's it and then you're going to notice that your crossfire unit will be on. Alright so that's uh, that part of the radio. Now for the probably most easiest part of setting up crossfire is the bind process. <laughs> this is probably the easiest. So all you have to do is take your model and we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna set this down for a second, I'll plug in my battery. And so you'll see that it is green and flashing. And if you look over here, it's gonna say connecting. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, if you've got the, the micro, it's a little bit different, you go through the Lua. But if you've got the uh, the TX Lite like I do, you go like this, you just hold this down. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold it down and then you're going to go and so you go like this, you go to your light and then you go over one and you go to bind. And it's going to say bind binding. Um, it's going to ask you if you want to update your micro receiver, so go ahead and say yes. It's going to say hold on, it's going to say updating the receiver. This is like the easiest part 
of Crossfire. It just freaking works. Uh, and it's amazing how well that it works. So this can take a minute or two, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let it uh, go through its process and I'll be right back. So next, once you've gotten it bound, um, then what you wanna do and update it, um, you're gonna go back here and you're gonna wait for it to show up. So it'll say XF Nano RX. Um, so go ahead and go to the right and pick that and it'll say loading. And it's gonna load the receiver. Um, so first go into general and uh, we're gonna change that from eight channel to 12 channel. Um, telemetry, you want on. RF profile, keep it at dynamic. Fail safe, keep it at cut and RC by Mavlink, unless you have Mavlink, um, go ahead and turn that to off. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we've got that set up. Uh, next, go to your output mapping. Um, everything in here should be basically everything. You don't need to change it. Just make sure that Crossfire TX is on output one, RX is on output two, channel three, smart audio, and all those, so you don't really have to touch anything on that one at all. Um, next, on your channel mapping, sorry, it's trying to focus <laughs> on too many things. Channel mapping, um, this is where you're going to program your RSSI. So I like mine to be on channel 12. Um, you pick whatever channel that you want. So go over here, and there's a couple options. There's RSSI, there's LQ, and there's LQ RSSI. So, um, what I learned from Ben over at Tiny Whoop um, is that LQ is the best to use. So you use whatever you want. That's what I use on all mine. And then once you're done with that, uh, she's yelling at me because I haven't done any kind of inputs. And uh, that's it. Um, you're set up and now you're connected. And once you are connected, you will see that your crossfire will stay green. Now, there are some changes we have to do inside of uh, Betaflight or for this one, Emu Flight, and I'll show you that next part. Okay, so uh, either Betaflight or Emu Flight, whatever you're going to use. So go ahead and do your uh, connection. Um, I've got it here. And then first, I'm going to go into my uh, ports tab. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn serial off for the UART one because that was the old receiver and then I soldered up to RX3 and TX3 so I'm going to do serial on RX3 and I'm going to go ahead and uh, save and reboot. Okay, That's step one. Uh, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the configuration and I'm going to go all the way down. Um, keep it at serial based receiver and I'm going to change it from SBUS and I'm going to go down to Crossfire. And I'm going to go ahead and save and reboot. And we're going to go ahead and reconnect again. All right. So at this point uh, now, I should be able to go into the receiver tab. And I should be able to make sure that everything is working. So, um, oh, uh, one thing I forgot to do is also on the configuration page, um, make sure that on here your telemetry is set. Okay, and then reconnect. Okay, so I'm going to grab a battery and plug it in, and we'll make sure everything is working on the uh, receiver. All right, so we are uh, connected, so let's make sure that our uh, everything is working. Bottle is good. Yeah, good. Uh, let's make sure our roll. Good. Pitch forward, pitch back. So we are uh, we are good to go. Uh, arm modes. So we're good there. And uh, yeah. So all right, perfect. And you can see that uh, aux number eight right here. Uh, this is your RSSI. Even though it picked uh, twelve channel twelve, but uh, it's actually on that. Why? I, I don't know, but uh, and what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and go over to my uh, OSD and I'm going to go ahead and add my RSSI. Uh, let's see. There we go. 
and I like my RSSI up here. There we go. All right, and then I'm going to pause for a second. I just want to make sure it shows up in my um, goggles. So that's it, guys, for the uh, Crossfire. I confirmed in my goggles that I have 99% uh, RSSI. Um, so I'm good to go. So now I'm going to take this outside and I'm going to fly it around. Um, I'll be doing a separate video on that. Um, but that's it. So Crossfire really isn't that hard. It's really easy to set up um, on your flight controller and in Betaflight or Emu Flight or whatever you're using. Um, and that's it. So uh, thanks, guys, for watching the video. Thank you for tuning in. I very much appreciate it. And as always, let's keep these drones up in the air flying high. I'll talk to you guys later. Have an awesome day.